Okay, hello, this is Joe the Navajo. I'm uh, making something here. This is going to be for my little uh, little movie I'm going to make. And what I'm making is a steak. It's a, it's a like, it looks like a, uh, what do you call it, a piece of wood that's been sharpened up. I got a little bit of blood. I'm using some brown, got some red, and a little bit of yellow just for some touch. I'm getting some of this yellow along here. I'm getting some blood along this side here. Just to give it some wear and tear, you know. Give it that older feel. <coughs> Similar to that. And uh, this is gonna, what's gonna. This is what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna. It's wet now. Don't touch it. But I'm gonna grab this sucker. Cool. That's what I'm gonna kill my vampires with. So yeah. Right here. I'm making these out of uh, some foam. Just your good old foam found at Walmart, you know. Costs like maybe four or five dollars or something. And what you do is you take this little thing. It's got already got a circle inside here, as you can see. You grab this sucker. You just sort of rake it on across. This is a bread knife, people. You just sort of rake it on across there. And what I'm creating it's a little tube of just nothing but foam. Now I take that foam right here. Take that foam, I kind of round it off a little bit right here. Kind of give it a little bit of roundness here. At that point, I'm going to cut across and work on the other side as well. Like so. What I'm essentially doing is creating a tip. Now I end up with a piece very similar to that. Yeah. I got myself a nine, uh, I think a nine gauge wire. Got a little wire here. I stick it on the side like a stool. Then I want to color this part first. Give it a little bit of roundness here. So it just appears like it's... It appears like it's uh, nice and easy here. Yeah, that looks pretty good right now. All right. Now, I'll start out by coloring the bottom because that's the hardest one to, to get, really. Spread it on there nice and thick, nice and easy. Oh yeah, you can see that it's coloring right inside there. Yeah, like a so. After this has been colored, I'll kind of get the bottom half of this thing. My my little palette is over here. Let's stick it around. Yeah, that'll work. Alright. Yeah, I like the full. I like the full. Another way I apply the sucker is directly on here. Where's my brown? Oh, here's my brown. Right on there. Yeah. Oops, let me get that up. Nice close shot up right here. There we go. Yeah. <coughs> Watch out for any splatters. Just mix that around nice and easy. Like a so. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now it's starting to look like a like a piece of wood. And that's the effect I want to do. It's just going to be real quick. It's not going to be an up close shot. You're not going to really notice all this stuff. But if I were doing an up close shot, I want to get into more detail. But this one here is going to be a quick action. You'll see it initially. When I open up my chest case, it'll be sitting there, similar to this, nice, easy, round side. But when I use it, I'm gonna quickly use it. You won't be able to tell this end is kind of, kind of grungy. Now, just like a stool, stick that one on there. Then we continue to paint the rest. 
can get some blue and some brown in there. Put that in there just like so. I lost my other two, my other paint brushes, so I'm kind of stuck with using a smaller one, or I'll just grab something a little bigger. And we just give it a nice paint job like this. And our end result will be something similar to this. Once we're done, allow this to dry. As soon as that dries, we have a nice little uh, steak that we can use. And this is a uh, special effects makeup. And this is special effects makeup for the zombie hunters. But we're not hunting zombies. We, we can go after all kinds of things. And that's what the that's what I'm going to make the movie as. And this time, we're going to go after some vampires. So as soon as I'm done with this, I'll show you what, what I've created. And uh, that's all. It's Chris Kevin Movie making time. <laughs>